here's one of the advantages of the Vipec. Uh, it's the quick tune system and you know we've all heard about auto tunes and that and I basically say this is actually one that works. One of the really nice things about this is I actually want to tune into the 2000 area. I'm going to start at the 2000 area. I'm going to tune the complete load cells through the 2000 area. So first of all I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in the quick tune and I'm going to lock it out so that anything below 1800 it won't change my tune on. I uh, simply put it on automatic, hit start tune. I'm now going to sit here and I'm going to actually load the dyno up so that we're actually going to be sitting here holding this engine at 2000 RPM. It's going to sit there and actually just kind of watch as this happens. It's, it's really quite amazing. So we're going to go for it here now. As the cell turns green, it means it's tuned. If a cell doesn't tune right away, we simply hit F11, reset the cell, and away it goes. You'll notice we're now in the tuning range. You're watching the cells automatically change there. There's one tune. You can even notice how it changed the ones below. There we go. We've tuned the 2000 range. Notice our target is 13.2. Our actual is 13.1. We're just moving right through. We just keep going down here. And uh, I'm now running about 3-4 pounds of boost. You can see it over here by the KPA here. And as we come up here, we're now coming up with almost 7 pounds of boost here right now. And we're wide open throttle. And the 2000 range is done. Let's move on to the 2500 range. I know most people are sitting there saying, I can't believe I just saw that happen, but it really did. And here it is, it's tuned. We're now going to move on to the, on to the 2500 range. You'll notice if I even come into it, I'm not going to readjust my 1800 bottom line because I'm actually going to try and get some of these lower cells with a little bit of load so that I can actually get more of a drivability of it. Let's, uh, let's go here again. All right, we've moved our dyno now up to 2500. That's where it's going to be holding. Uh, you can see that we've already tuned this full range through here. And as you were watching the tuning, you can see what the target and the actual is. Now you're noticing that the actual and the target here are a lot lower. And this is actually uh, at Eagle Talon. It's got a fairly large set of camshafts. And in order to make this car run right, we're actually running a, a, a richer a richer air fuel mixture just simply to keep a nicer idle on the car. Uh, most cars will actually sit and run at the 14 to 1 unless you've got a heavy cam car and you're going to have to make some modifications from there. That is totally your discrepancy. I am actually going to find fourth gear here again. There we go. And I'm going to move this into the 2500 range here and you'll notice we're locked out and we're in. Taking a little bit to get our first cell. It didn't go. We'll just hit F11 here, and it went. Now let's go down to our next cell. Once again, noticing we're asking for 14.6. We're taking 14.7. Now we're asking for 13.5. It gave us 13.4. 12.9 target reach, 12.5 target reach, we're asking for 11.5, it's reached its target, and we're tuned, 2500 is now done. Alright, I'm going to now tune the 3000 area, I just had a short cool down, just the engine temperature came up a bit, so now as you see we're moving into the zone, Moving into the zone, and we're go. Next zone, we can actually see what our air fuel is doing. Missed one, I just gotta go back, there we go. Got another one. That's as much as that little turbo gave us on that round. Not bad, 3,000, just under 180 horsepower at the wheels. I gotta get into this here. Okay, see the ears Tom's got on here. He's actually listening for detonation with very sensitive knock, knock detection equipment as we tune in the higher RPM range. 